stirrer. To get the ball rolling, we click the work sharing icon here on the status bar at the bottom. We can accept these defaults that are listed here and click OK. So now elements within the model are now being moved onto work sets. This allows individual elements to be checked out as they are selected and modified. Here we just click OK to accept the defaults. Now the first time we save after having done that we get a message saying that work sharing has been enabled and that will automatically change how the file is used from this point forward. So we're going to select yes to accept that change and now I'm going to close this central file now that it is a central file and when I go to open I'm going to select this utility building which is what we're calling the file and we're going to keep this create new local selected so essentially what's going to happen here is this file on the server is going to automatically be copied to the C drive on your computer and it's going to have your username added to the end so we're going to keep create new local checked click open and then we'll notice up here in the application title bar that the username is added to the end of the project name so now we're in a local file we can also tell this by the fact that we have a regular save icon and a synchronize with central icon so one is to save changes back to the server and the other icon is to save changes locally which you probably will do more often because the synchronize with central takes a little bit longer it's pushing your changes out to the server and pulling any other changes from other users down. So down here in my taskbar I'm going to switch over to Revit architecture and before I open that central file to create a local actually I'm not going to open the central file but I'm going to go to the options here and I'm going to make sure that my username is something different I'm going to call myself user B here. And I'm going to go to open. And I'm selecting the same file that user A selected on the server. And I also have create new local checked. And so that file from the server was now copied to my C drive with user B at the end of the file name. So now I have user A and user B. Maybe to help keep that straight, I'll actually just type that up here. So we got user A and user B. So user A is going to come into the model and start making some adjustments with these doors maybe add a wall here I'm going to undo that and point out a problem that you have sometimes in Revit the last time we drew a wall was for a bulkhead in Revit even though we closed the model and opened it again is remembering the base offset for that wall. So we need to change that back to zero so that the wall is sitting on the floor. Okay, so this is some changes user A has made and has not saved locally or to the central file. Now user B comes along and does not see those changes yet because the changes are not happening in real time. Our computers are not that powerful yet and when user B tries to change something that user A has changed user B will get a message saying that user A has that element checked out so we have to cancel that and contact user A or if you're using the work sharing monitor you could have clicked that place request option there that we saw but you call user A and ask them to save to central or synchronize with central they click this icon on the quick access toolbar notice that save local before and after is checked which is good 
And then anytime there's something checkable here, you want to check it so that it relinquishes your rights to those elements. So we're going to go ahead and synchronize with central. So it's pushing the new location for those doors out and adding those walls to the central file. Now we go back to user B and user B still doesn't see the door update because user B has to synchronize with central to pull those changes down. And if user B tries to change the door position again, user B gets a different message. Now that the element is no longer checked out, it tells us you, user B now owns the element, but the file is out of date. So there's two conditions that have to exist for you to be able to change something in a model. It has to be available to be checked out, and the position you're seeing it in has to be the most current position when compared to the central file. So user B now can synchronize with central. And now user B can make changes. And while user B is working away, user A can also be making changes to things that user B is not editing. Both users, as we just saw, can actually be working in the same plan and editing elements within the model. But soon as one of the users changes a property about that particular view, then that user now has that view checked out and the other user cannot make similar changes to the view. They can still be working within the view, but cannot be making changes like changing the scale or the detail level. At the end of the day, each user should synchronize with central with the save local at the bottom checked. And now both users have updated the central file. They can shut down their computers and go home and the next day when they come back, it's typically best practice to actually go back to the central file on the server and create a new local each